Hey neighbors, it's your buddy next door, Mason Stewart. Um, I'm excited to be back in the booth with you today. Um, maybe a little bit shorter of a video, um, but I hope that um, what I have to say, you'll be able to understand. So, um, we've gotten back into the swing of things, right? We're doing content again, different things like that. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, it's been hard for me. It's been really hard. Now, when I wasn't doing content and stuff, I was still doing auditions, and I was still doing all of the voiceover stuff, doing my marketing, you know, reaching out, contacting people, trying to get jobs, trying to get work going. Um, so really the only thing that was missing was the content. So I took a look um, at my life things going on in it, all that jazz. And I'm just not feeling as fulfilled as I have in the past with voiceover, um, with everything else. Many of you know, um, and I've talked about it here before, but I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Some people like to call us Mormons, you know, whatever. Whatever helps you uh, understand. And that's a very big, important part of my life. And I apologize if I get emotional. I'm an emotional person. But here's the deal. I believe very deeply that God guides and gives, gives counsel to our souls to our spirits. Uh, some of you that are may not be religious, I believe that he still guides your souls and your choices and your actions. And the world outside of my church views that differently. And that's okay. I want to make sure that this relates to everybody. So please hear me out. I call it, you know, the influence of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit however you tend to view that personage in the Godhead. Um, others that may not be religious may see this as, um, you know, fate or just a gut feeling. But over the last month or so, I've been battling back and forth because I've put time, effort, money, I put my soul into doing voiceover. I'm not seeing the return. I understand it's like a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very competitive world in voiceover. And it's very much that uh, there's, there's a lot of factors that go into play with it. But I've done everything I have been taught and everything I know in my power uh, to do voiceover. I've had coaches tell me, I don't really know why you're not getting booked. And I I don't know. <laughs> They've been in it a lot longer than me. And I just want to stop any thoughts right now. I'm not quitting voiceover right now. But the impressions to my soul, which I interpret as the influences of the Holy Ghost... You can see it as gut instinct or just instinct or reaction, you know, whatever it may be, karma. But I feel very deeply that I need to start looking at different careers and different things to generate income for myself, my wife, and my future family. That may eventually mean that I give up voiceover. I have a lot of subscriptions, and I've got a lot of like contacts that I'm working through. So, and I, I, I don't want to give up. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person that gives up. But there comes a time, right? If you're a boxer, I think that's a great analogy. If you're a boxer, and you're in this ring, right? MMA, whatever boxer, MMA, whatever helps you feel better. Th this type of example for me is going to make more sense in an MMA style. Um, if you've ever watched Mixed Martial Arts, you go in there, 
And if somebody puts you into a hold, right, they, they've got you in a choke hold, like they're choking you, they're, they're, they're doing something that's extremely painful to try to get you to submit, right? And to escape that and to end the match and just to say, I'm done, I'm not going to fight anymore, you tap out, you tap, you tap the ring, you say, I'm done, I'm done. Right now, I'm not tapping out. But there comes a point in any, I'm trying to think of the right word. Adventure is the word I was going to use, which is a little bit appropriate. But really, in any sort of business, especially, any sort of business thing, you have to really look and decide when is the loss of money too much right and that's where i'm at right now my over my voice over death unfortunately continues to grow because i'm not getting the jobs i'm putting in the work doing what i need to I don't know what else to do. It's frustrating. It is. And so there may come a time in the near future, within the next year, that I'll come and I'll do one of these videos and it'll be the last one. And I know most of my videos are inspiring. But this is a vlog. I'm here to show you what's going on in my life. And the realness of it. There comes a point in time where any sort of hobby, ambition, job, career gets to a point of no return, right? If, I, if I'm not getting any return on my investment, the things I'm putting into it, there has to come a time where you have to stop. You have to readjust and put that investment into something else. And so I've started to explore some other options while still working on voiceover. So I don't just go out of voiceover immediately and not have anything lined up. But I want you to know, each and every one of you, that it's okay. What is success? The world, business, people inside a voiceover or whatever profession that you're attempting to get into may tell you that success means that you're making tons and tons of money and that you're doing all of these things right. And that's not really the case, is it? That means you're successful, but that doesn't mean you weren't a success. Look at any inventor, famous or otherwise, right? It took Thomas Edison however many tries. I don't remember. There's some, like, famous number of tries it took him to figure out how to make a light bulb. And they're like, oh, how did you feel when you failed all those times? He's like, I didn't fail. I just figured out how to not make a light bulb, right? And unfortunately, it's the same thing for us. And a lot of us forget that. Right? And it's that, well, I may not be working on one specific thing, right? Like a light bulb. I'm working on myself. And I've now found out that while, like, my voice and abilities may lend itself to voiceover, right now, they're not hiring for what I provide. And so it's not something that's fit for me at this time. And so I need to move on. Doesn't mean I've failed. It means I've found something that I wasn't supposed to do. Whether you believe it's God's plan, like I do, or whether you believe it's life's plan and your own plan that you're making and it just wasn't meant to be. Sometimes those things happen and it's going to be hard. It's hard for me right now, you can tell. I've been crying. Um, but in the end, leaving something good 
We've talked about good, better, best on this, right? Voiceover may be a good thing for me. It could have been a better thing. Is it the best? At this point, I don't know. Because I'm not getting those results. Now, in this year's time, as I continue to do voiceover and do other things on the side, if voiceover starts to pop off and goes crazy, maybe it is the best thing. And I will have been glad that I've endured through. But if that mark hits, it's a mark I have. I'm not going to share it here publicly, but there's a, there's a, there's a goal because you have to have attainable goals, right? I can't just say I want to be a voice actor. I have to have attainable goals, and I have those goals written down. And if I'm not hitting those certain goals by certain days, then I need to move on. And that's how it is in life, relationships, jobs, businesses, careers, hobbies. Set yourself realistic goals. There's an acronym, REAL. R stands for realistic, okay? E-A-L. Um, that's not it. Now I, now I don't remember what it is. It's not real, is it? I can't remember. But you need to have realistic. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So, R, realistic. E, um, man, nope, that's not it. Okay, well, that part of the video was, was a flop. I'm, I've kind of lost my train of thought. Make your goals realistic. Make them attainable. Make them based off of a timetable. Because if you don't, then you're just going to be stuck in a loop. And that's where I've been for the last little while, is stuck in a loop. I don't want to be stuck in a loop. I want to progress. I want to grow. If that means stepping outside and not doing voiceover anymore, that's going to be tough for me. But it's something I'm going to have to do. And I'll leave that challenge with you guys. Set goals in your life for whatever it is. Find out if you're meeting them, exceeding them, not meeting them, and adjust and adapt. Because that's what life is about, is adjusting and adapting to any situation that we have. So I'll leave that with you here. Uh, we'll end this part of the video. I do have a food adventure um, coming up later in this video. So give me a little bit... Um, Give me, give me a quick second, I guess, for you guys, as um, I've got to wait a little bit before I can go and get it. But we'll do this food adventure, and I'll see you guys at that food adventure. Thank you. Hey, neighbors, it's time for our food adventure. I'm very grateful that you all stuck around to the end of the video to get to the food adventure. Um, even though it was a little bit more emotional, a little bit more somber than our usual videos. Uh, but food adventure, always a good time. Always a good time to have food. Now, um, recently... Um, I've kept you guys updated a little bit before, but we kind of live in the middle of nowhere out here. Um, and we just got a new shopping center and a bunch of new restaurants. Uh, one of those restaurants was a Wendy's. So we have a little bit of a fast burger place close by now, which is good and bad, depending on how you look at it. But we have a Wendy's nearby now, and Wendy's has a new burger out. The new burger is called the Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger. So let me read to you what it says on the website about this burger before we jump into it. A quarter pound of fresh, never frozen beef, warm beer cheese sauce, applewood smoked bacon, smoky honey mustard, crispy fried onions, pickles, and a slice of Munster cheese, all on an extra soft pretzel bun. Come for the pretzel bun, stay for everything else. Now, um... I'm not a huge pretzel bun person. Uh, many of you know I'm not a big bread person in general. Um, so we'll see how the pretzel bun pairs with this. Um, but the beer cheese, I, I love beer cheese. Beer cheese is delicious. Applewood smoked bacon, I'm there for it. Smoky honey mustard. Can't ever say I've had a smoky honey mustard, but I'm all for it. I love crispy fried pickles. Sorry, crispy fried onions. If it was crispy fried pickles, I mean, this would already be a top seller, but crispy fried onions, still not bad. You got your pickles and Munster cheese. I am a big fan of Munster cheese, so I'm excited to give this burger a bite. Let's open it up, shall we? All right. Ooh, you can see that honey mustard sauce. Look at that. They kind of drenched it a little bit, so 
Might be a little overpowering on the honey mustard side. We just lost a pickle, I think. Nope, it was a crispy onion. We're going to try this crispy onion because it fell out. Right under my desk. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, that sauce. That's got to be the beer cheese sauce. That's got to be the beer cheese sauce. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's take a bite of everything together now. That shall fall over my face. Okay. That's a solid burger. That's a solid burger. I'm going to take another bite real quick. Hmm. I was expecting the Munster to cut through a lot more, but that beer cheese overpowers it a lot. Um, if you like beer cheese sauce, it's definitely got a unique kind of like cheesy flavor to it. You'll like this sandwich. It's really good. It's very beer cheese sauce heavy. Uh, the crispy onions and the pickles add a nice texture. Um, I like the crunch of the onions a lot on here. I think the pickles, they, they kind of work. I don't know if like the tang is exactly what this needs because the beer cheese got that tang already. But overall... I'd say I'd probably give this sandwich like an 8. An 8 out of 10 is what I'd give the sandwich. It's really good. I'd probably get it again. Um, but you never know, right? I've, I've been kind of leaning more towards doing like value menu stuff recently. Uh, just because I feel like you get a lot more food. Like with the 5 for 5 biggie bags at Wendy's. I think that's a better deal. But if you are going for like a full burger, you kind of want like uh, a little bit more food. A fancy is not the right word, but a little bit more like thought put into a burger other than just like meat, cheese, condiments. This is a very good pairing to a soft drink and fries, 100%. I'd recommend it. Go give it a try. It's delicious. But that's where our food adventure is going to take off for the day. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, one thing to note, next week, um, I actually, <laughs> um, this is going to sound silly, but next week, um, I had some extra PTO laying around. Overwatch 2 launches next Tuesday for you to play. Make sure you download it, play it, support those developers now that they actually have, like, good money, like, money, not, I can't think of the right word. They have a platform now to actually earn money from people playing the game with skins in the Battle Pass, but go support them. It's an amazing game. Excited for you all to play. I'm definitely going to be streaming, so make sure you stop by my Twitch it's going to be twitch.tv slash solarpancake, S-O-L-R pancake. Um, it'll be on the end card here of my videos as it usually is. Stop on by any time next week. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually uh, support me with your Amazon Prime membership and give me a free subscription for one month, um, which is fantastic. But yeah, stop by. That's kind of what we'll be doing next week. Um, but yeah, uh, I think... I'll be recording another video before then. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.